Hello YouTubers, welcome to Draw Some Tutorials and this is the second part of the tutorial I was working on before where I had done all the pre-processing pre required uh, to simulate the Formula F1 front wing uh, in, a, in a real life conditions uh, where we are where the wing is uh, producing downforce and drag against 40 meters per second uh, of speed so here as we have done all the all the uh, all the pre-processing I'll be working with the post processing only so if you haven't watched the pre-processing for this uh, simulation of wing tutorial so make sure you do so and come back to the post processing so from here what we want to do is we want to run the simulation but before I run the simulation I want to I want to create few plots for my drag and downforce so by simply right clicking on my plot I'm gonna click on new new report and I'm gonna uh, create force one which is going to be for my drag I'm gonna create another one for down force so in here we wanna add uh, a few properties so I wanna look at my axis system and I wanna work with these properties so as you can see wind is coming from the x axis uh, so this will be minus one so this is the force against it so if the wind's coming from here you want to add the same direction as the wind because the wind is gonna uh, it's gonna have some force uh, so that force will be uh, will be calculated by this by this plot that we'll be creating now so we want to add the minus one for for our wind for our drag and then the down force is in our Y axis as you can see and for this we will add this here to 0 and the Y axis to minus 1 so once that's done we're gonna create a monitor from this with these plots okay so before we do that we want to add our reference pressure which is going to be the same as the the pressure of the wind uh, air at sea level and then we want to select our parts so which is going to be our red uh, red bull front wing okay the same goes for this one Bots. okay so once that's done we simply want to we simply want to create monitor plot from report and we're going to use single plot to to create plot for these two uh, values so we'll have our downforce and we'll have our drag as you can see and now what we want to do is we want to run our simulation so once the simulation is running we can see the iteration and we can also look at our residuals and then we're gonna right click on our plots and I'm gonna see this this plot here where we have our our downforce and we've got our drag as well as you can see the wind uh, the wing is producing more downforce and less drag and when you look at your residuals you wanna you wanna see you so you wanna make sure that your that your results are, are accurate and reliable and they are not likely to change in further iteration so the way to read this is by looking at your residuals from your results so you wanna you wanna look at all these uh, all these lines here all these plots so you wanna make sure that they're not they're not moving unsteadily they're not going up and down too much and they're always under one so if they are if they are higher than one the the lesser accurate the results are and they are likely to change so as you can see the results are going down until like 0 0.0001 that's quite good so that's what you actually want from the from the residual plot and and once you can see that the that the results have are are steady and not going up and down too much so that means your your results have your your results have converged yeah as you can see now the results has has converged at about 300 iteration 
so you can run it for about 1000 iteration and if you still don't get the 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 plots proper the plots converging so it means that you need to fix your mashing or change the or maybe this the the conditions were you went somewhere wrong so make sure these uh, these uh, residuals uh, plot is very important and your uh, your results are converging so once uh, I can see that my results are pretty uh, accurate precise and my results have also converged I can simply go to my uh, my values for my downforce and you I can see that the that the one has like uh, 394 Newton uh, of downforce has been produced by this front wing and 154 drag uh, is is being produced by this front wing this is these these are the values that I want to take away from my simulation so and other than this we can we can uh, view our results in many other ways so if I want to run simulation until 1000 I can but I can see that uh, the results are not likely to change anymore so I'm just gonna stop my results and just leave it here uh, so we can create few uh, we can create different type of uh, results from this simulation we can go to the results right click on it new scene and we're gonna make a scalar one just to see the pressure on the on the wing so we're gonna go to scenes and we created the scalar to these ones the old ones so we've got this scalar scene too we're gonna expand it go to scalar part so you're gonna select the part which is going to be again the 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 wing and we want to see the pressure exerted onto this onto this wing by the wind so absolute pressure as you can see at the very front we have uh, we have pressure of about the values you, you can read it here but the maximum pressure is somewhere at the ends of the of the wings you can also view it you can also play around with the settings here so I want to see smooth field so this will give you a smoother reading of your results okay so you can also change into velocity or whatsoever you want to do whatsoever you want to see from your results so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, create some streamlines from these results and I'm also gonna show you how to transform uh, half of our our uh, our wing into the the whole wing so literally we're gonna go to the scene we're gonna go to the scalar and go down to transform so once you see the transform okay so I forgot to take make the symmetric plane so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna create this one as our symmetry plane and change it into symmetric plane and then we're gonna transform with the symmetric plane and you can see the whole wing is now being uh, shown to back to the pressure I'm gonna get rid of my old outlines because I don't need it. So as you can see, we can we can see our whole wing, whole wing, just by using the 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 transform feature in Star CCM. So I'm gonna create some streamlines now. In order to create streamlines, I'm simply gonna go to the derive parts new streamline. So it says input the the parts. So I'm gonna use front wing, and I'm gonna use my seat parts, which is gonna be the
front wing and the resolution the more you add the more you the more streamlines you'll get but the, the longer it will take to do that so we want to look at velocity when we create the stream so create it's gonna take some time but not too much so close that add function gonna add velocity so I'm gonna add the velocity so yeah so also I wanna so when you come down here you will just see these streamlines come down here as well I wanna again transform it using my symmetric feature and now we can see the streamlines uh, around this uh, around this uh, F1 uh, wing and we can see how the wing is guiding the flow uh, and also the vortex is being created uh, around the around the 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 winglets of this front wing just about here so th there's so many ways we can we can uh, read these results and and get get a conclusion from uh, how this results impacting our downforce and dragon also from these results you can further optimize the wing so uh, this is all i'll be covering in this in this cfd tutorial if, you, if this video helped you make sure you, you hit the like button and subscribe to awesome for more and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this video bye bye